Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. Travis and I are literally out in the middle of Iowa. So we pulled into some lucky, lucky farmer's field. We're gonna inspect his ground. No, <laughs> actually we're just heading to uh, an implement dealer because you're looking at buying what? Lawnmower. Uh, big lawnmower? No, a little one. A little one? Just the regular lawn one. Okay. The reason we're looking at a lawnmower is because it's a special kind that, I mean, it's the engine it's got in it, it's got about about half more horsepower than the one I got at home, and I figured it, we just had the time that wouldn't hurt to come out and at least look at it. Yeah, because you thought your parts buddy could, you know, help supply your do-it-yourself project. <laughs> My parts friend at the local dealership can find us parts for anything, <laughs> as long as it isn't blue, I think. But. So we're actually heading close to the Nebraska Yeah, Yeah, we're, we passed the middle of Iowa about two hours ago, and we're actually more, more towards Nebraska, but... We're looking at a piece of equipment. I don't know if I'm going to say what we're looking at. Do you want me to tell them what we're looking <laughs> let's at? Let's just let's just get there and then uh, we'll don't just start driving by things and let people start guessing. That's so. where with me. Dog's on a second yep. pee break. That's and a, we'll get going. That's number two for him. Yep. Come on, dude. Let's roll. <clears throat> the wife doesn't know that we took her car yet, so I'm hoping if we put the gas back in it, she won't notice the extra miles on it when she gets home. <laughs> up on 255th Street. Yep. This is actually the first gravel road we hit so far, but like I said, it's more sand than gravel. Yeah, that was all gravel roads. Here's 250th Street. Oh. And actually, those are the first cows we've seen today. Funny thing is, like whenever we go record places like this, I know that someone's going to recognize a house somewhere and go tell the <laughs> people who live in that house hey so you know you guys house made it on the internet never fails well we're back to is it pavement or is it just a better type better type of gravel nope paved no, road it's pavement and it's snowing I've heard the gull wings are terrible because you can hit your head on them, and I don't really think that's the case. A lot of nice features with the the premium, you know, you get your Greeks Bank. Okay, I'll go ahead, sell it to me. What, um, can you, what can you tell me about it? The Greeks Bank is handy because you don't have to obviously get up on the machine. Mm -hmm. um, the main rollers where you have the problems, yep. like with a normal baler, mm -hmm. they're heavier. Pickups heavier, the cams, the bushings. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of made for corn stalks, the heavier, uh, more no. abrasive crop, I guess. The one belt got scuffed pretty good here. That means nothing to me. But uh, like I say, um, we had some warranty issues with the new one. He came and got it and put a few more bales on it. And That's kind of past operator error. Didn't really didn't care that it was rubbing or what. I've, I've never. That's the first time I've seen somebody do that. Um, In a hurry. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. But that's kind of interesting. That's kind of an odd wear pattern. I'm guessing something got wedged in there. It don't take long on a baler, you know, make a couple rounds. Though. I took a picture of both the heads of the bolts as, as they you get up to twenty thousand bales, though, because bolts get pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah, the other baler I'm looking at has got 13,500 bales on it. So the big push that got me out here is the fact that it's only got almost 2,500 less bales. So how does that w rotor work in there exactly? Like Basically just throws the crop into the forming chamber. 
Okay, so it's not intended to really cut it? Nope. Nope. No, it's to help pack it in. Yep. Okay. Helps it feed better. Just a transfer item. Okay. New set of belts that really doesn't scare me, and honestly, I could probably run these another season if I had to. Was yeah, a lot of our guys will do that every year. What year is this baler? Thirteen. Thirteen. Does this come with a monitor? See, the problem is what everybody has tried to talk me out of these five sixty nines is because they don't come with a monitor. Oh, painted up and everything, huh? This works. This one here is oh. this guy. No, we replaced this one. Oh, he did it. I'm sure it was that same. Well, that's a pretty good fix then. If we know it's damaged, we can't find it. It was up front because he turned too short with the duels. Oh, ooh. but he did a pretty darn good job. Yeah. Like I said, you can see it was sprayed. But yep. Yeah, for PTO. Yep. But the thing is, we already have an 1800 monitor that came with our planer that we don't use. So the whole point of going something like this is I'm going to put the 1800 monitor in my 76 that's typically runs our other baler, mm -hmm. and then actually put this on our 8R. So that way, if yep. I only want to run this baler or the other, I have the option of putting either one on the 76. So this is the, this is nice though, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yep. If you've got a, like his R, that would just run right through the display. Yep. I do, this is the thing I do when I get something with that. Because we have a 566 that was doing that, but she went kablooey. No. So. And then, when you panic and you don't really think about it too much, when you're seeing this is all hot, so what you do, you throw some water on it and hot oil. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> that gets interesting really quick. Yep, that's, get it in the picture. we got one just like that on our 566. Well, we did get the side here though. Which isn't, isn't anything that I worry about. So yeah, nice upgrade would be at least having another extra store in that route. See the gap right there? Mm -hmm. I imagine that was probably an issue for him keeping the net wrap out. To the edge because that's a problem we have with ours. You lose that tension there? Yeah. Alright, see what I wanted to see. It's a nice baler and it's as advertised. Oh. Alright. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Yep. Good meeting you. Nice, nice to meet you. Uh, well, hopefully there isn't too much snow accumulating when we get back home. Uh, I think we're gonna be driving back with it, so yeah, it's a problem. Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> tell him I said hi. I will. Yep. You bet. The best ones are. Well, my kid's currently sitting at school. And I can sit and talk to you. So, <laughs> thanks, guys. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Come on, Calvin. What are you thinking more, this one or the other one? It's a nice baler. But uh, it's awfully neck and neck, to be honest with you. Um, it's not a lot more. And the only reason it's more is because um, of shipping. The, this baler is actually less than uh, the one that's closer to home. But then when you get this far away from home, uh, you got to factor in getting it there. And it's not like we can pull it. 280 miles. I mean, you could, but I'm not going to. And 
mm. would I be happy with this one over more than the other one? Um, probably, but this one also is showing um, wear and tear, like on the belts, which isn't something to really sit and drag it through the mud on because it's it's wear and tear that you're gonna see on any machine. And I'm just thinking that the belts, at least a couple of those belts, need to be replaced, which I have them at home, but those belts were meant for our baler. <laughs> and the thing that is the, the gearbox that the power takeoff goes into, where it comes in and goes at a 90, um, that's leaking, which is something I'm probably going to, I know I want to replace just because... When ours failed, it was it was an expensive fail. So we just left. It's 1.17 in the afternoon, 285 miles from home. We should be, get there at 6 p.m. without any stops, but we're gonna, I'm gonna have stop to stop for, for lunch and fuel. Lunch? You don't need lunch. I fed you on the way out. No, I'm paying for lunch this time then because too much coffee. Yeah. Well, the thing is. 5.56 is when we get home. I see that as more of a challenge than, uh, than we're going to get there at that time. Yeah. I bet we well, that's a challenge, all right. Look at the snow. It's actually not snowing as bad as it was. The rear end of the semi? Yes. Yeah, let's drive without music for a while. Speed's right back up, though. We're back now and we're not totally sure which route we're gonna go down. It's definitely gonna be a lot nicer having two balers, but uh, we're not sure which one we would prefer quite yet. Need to do some more thinking on it and decide whether we wanna go with the one out uh, on the other state of Iowa or on this side of Iowa. So you guys will probably be seeing an update on this in a few videos from now, but uh, we're gonna be working on the planner here soon. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.